Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. And today, I still can't believe I'm saying this, we've got my Black Ranger in the workshop here, and uh, today's gonna be unboxing to you what I've been anticipating and waiting for for a long time. So uh, without, any further without any further ado, I've got Zach here from Apex. He's gonna be a big part of this project. And uh, we've got something in these two big boxes, which we'd love to show you. So we'll get the first one off and show you what we've been talking about. As you guys know, I've always loved the Range Rover Sport, but they look, they're getting slightly dated. They're seven years old and uh, well, Obviously we do vehicle customization and modernization. I think what's right for this vehicle in particular and these two Range Rovers is gonna be a Luma spec body kit. So I can't even believe this, we're body kitting two Range Rover Sports and uh, Encarn's hooked us up with these. They gave us a, a great deal on these, so I appreciate that. I'll leave the link in the description below. And uh, well, let's unbox this and see what we've got and talk you guys through what we've got. We use Apex for all of our stuff to do with paintworks. Uh, he's a good friend of mine and he does an excellent job. Now, uh, two body kits on two Range Rovers is slightly uh, slightly bigger than what I suppose you do normally. Yeah. So we're going to be renting a body shop for this project in particular. Now these bumpers are big sections, so I'm guessing that invites more problems in, on your front rather than doing it outside on a dusty farm. Yeah. Um, we're going to need to get a perfect job on this, and obviously being Range Rovers, they need to be. Uh, there's an element of luxury here, so they need to be perfect, and we want them to be perfect. So. We've gone ahead and uh, made a few calls, and I think it's Dave, your friend. We've got David from BPM, um, he's lending us his workshop. He's going to DPM? Yeah. DPM Autobody. Oh, well, they've got YouTube channel, haven't they? Yes. So, DPM Autobody, I can't believe he's going there, that's really cool. Um, he is very kindly lent us the booth, so I can't wait to go down. We're going to be painting them tomorrow, yep. but today we're going to show you guys what we've got in the kits. Again, supplied by Encarns, they are like a huge range of customization centre, really cool. Um, so, definitely check them out. Uh, we'll show you what we've got in the kits. Now these are an LM Luma style body kit. So it's quite an aggressive kit. And that's the thing about these. They look really smart and I love the way it looks, but they are looking slightly their age just because of the new ones on the road today. This thing's seven years old and so is the other one. And I just think some muscular lines would do it a huge favor. So uh, we've gone for a body kit which is, is not too mental. I hope that some of you are going to like this. Some of you probably won't because it's slightly, I suppose, leaning towards a bit to uh, Essex, maybe? I'm sure if that's a good offence for people, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, without any further ado, let's take the bumper out, the front bumper, and uh, well, all of it, and just show you what we got. Is that the same stay? So you can already see, I personally think the best looking bumper for a Range Rover or Range Rover Sport is going to be the factory SVR kit. Uh, it's got like a wide mouth and big vents because obviously the SVR is performance, they've got a big V8 under the bonnet. Now we could have got an SVR kit, but what I don't want to be doing is creating a car here um, that's... I like replicas in a very specific style, i.e. Defenders, do a few replicas, but with the Range Rovers I feel like if you've got an SVR body kit and you start it up and you can hear a diesel, it doesn't quite match up and so I don't want to be uh, that kind of surprise... I don't know, I kind of feel like... That's what you do to a crashed one. I'm, I'm not, maybe some of you understand that. Do you see where I'm going with that? I feel like uh, I want it to look like an SVR in terms of the aggression, but I don't want it to look like an SVR replica because otherwise it looks like you're just trying to be something you're not. That's my personal opinion. The Luma kit is the closest thing to that. It's got the big vents, the big aggression to it, and a nice muscular style without being too outlandish and too scoopy. I find there's a lot of them with like a load of huge, stupid stuff happening. I quite like the style of this. It's quite reserved in its style. And uh, these are actually great quality. These are like a, I mean, I'm no body, te body technician, but that looks like ABS, formed ABS, like yep. not vacuum molded, but injection molded. And all the fixtures and fittings look great. I mean, I fitted body kits years ago, and back in, back in 2000, so it was all fiberglass, and it was all just poor fitting, right? None of it, none of it ever matched up. But this is like all super flexible, and all of it looks really nice, and every, every clip's here. All the parking sensor holes are already lined up. The grills and stuff we've got um, look of great quality and they already come in a gloss black. So I, I've been dying to do this and I've been waiting till this is on camera, but I think we should offer it up just in terms of hold it over it and just see what it's gonna look like. So Zach, if you could be my helpful assistant. Well, I can't see what that's gonna look like. Look at the difference on the bump and a huge fence on it. It's gonna look sick. It's still really, really solid as well, don't It does feel like a good bumper. There's, yeah. there's no... It feels like a decent one. It feels similar to, to the original factory. Same yeah. thickness. Everything looks like it's in its place. All the trims are really, really good. It feels solid. 
Does it feel like it's going to twist? No, it looks nice. It, 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 it genuinely looks like a really nice piece of kit. Now, one thing I was slightly concerned about is, in an ideal world, we'd like to test fit this, just to make sure before it goes to paint that everything fits. We're not going to do that. We don't really have the time, and I don't want to start pulling up the Range Rover until we've got the kits back from paint and we're ready to go. Um, looking at the quality of the kits, and looking into NCARNs and these kits in, in particular, we're just going to send it and uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully everything fits up. It looks like it will, but um, let's show you what else we've got in the kit. Nice little stuff like this. Parking sensor covers so we can paint those. All the fixtures and fittings in a nice little vacuum bag. Decent. So this is the lower grip grill assembly. You can see the honeycomb. It's got the parking sensor bits laid out. It's already done in gloss black. Again, really nice quality, nice clips. Everything looks like decent, and that's what's going to sit here. I'm not sure what's going to happen with these tabs. I don't know if that's just a moulding mark or what. But that's going to sit there, something like that. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> and you've got the grill as well. Pop, pop yeah, grill, grill up on well. top. And you can imagine, and this is all Santorini black. And then we're doing another one, obviously, in white. What colour's the white? Uh, Fuji white. Fuji white. Ooh. I think it's does look sick. So this is like an SVR style grill. It's not the exact copy, but it's one very similar. Again, we're just going for aggression here. And this matches the honeycombs in the grills. So I'm so excited to see this. But let's go, let's, uh, let's now see what the rear bumper looks like. So another part of this that I'm really excited about is the fact that we're doing something different. Uh, I feel like with Defenders, all that's left is, is uh, an LS3 engine conversion to uh, complete you know, top to bottom restoration. We do chassis swaps, we do top to bottom, we do series, we do absolutely everything involved. And the Range Rover Sport is just gonna be a breath of fresh air in terms of styling. I'm quite excited about it because Range Rovers have typically scared me in terms of, there's so many computers and stuff, pulling one apart has always been a little bit fearful. And I have done bumpers before, and I have worked on them extensively, but there's just, uh, Leon is the Range Rover man and I'm the Defender man. So it's nice for us to, uh, to get into a bit of modification and doing Range Rover and stuff like this. It's not something you see every day. And uh, there's plenty of these on the road rolling around, but there's not many with these body kits. So it's gonna be really interesting. And uh, I can't wait to see when they're done, when they're painted. I'm just excited for this whole project. Painting is always just a fun part of it. And uh, it's great to have Zach on board with this project because we've got a lot of stuff planned for this and uh, we can't wait to share it with you guys. So let's check the rear bumper out and see what that looks like. What I really like about this body kit is they have obviously looked at the SDR body kit and then taken their own spin on it, as well as other automotive applications like Porsches and stuff. Now this diffuser on the back is just gonna give that rear end a really nice aggressive look without being too mad and without being too crazy. You see a lot of this stuff with you know, huge rear stuff on. This looks nice and subtle, and this is just gonna look really mean on the rear end. Now it's got square exhaust tips, and they, in the kit as well, they give you all the tips and stuff. It's crazy how much is involved with this. But I think this is going to look really nice. And again, just with these nice muscular lines, you can sort of see the moulding here is really nice. A nice sort of like spat air vent sort of thing over here. Again, the original factory stuff will fit back in there. It's just going to look really smart, I think. And it's just going to lift this vehicle, these vehicles too, obviously. Lift both these vehicles because they're seven years old and just make them look a little bit uh, fresher for today's modern age, I suppose. Especially if you put up against a new one. I mean, what are your thoughts on, because obviously you can do bits and bobs like a black pack. What's your yeah. thought on this? I mean, the black pack, black pack is the really popular option for most cars, mm. Land Rovers, Discoveries, everything like that, Range Rovers. So I think you need to gloss black all of the trims. Um, Santorini or gloss black? Gloss black, I think. I think Santorini could be a bit much, and especially with the grill set that's already on this car, I think gloss black would work better than just smothering it in Santorini. That's that, exactly that. Same with the little wing vents. I think we black them up. That would be nice. Um, we've got the wheels as well. I know, I'm, I'm unsure what to think about that. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely unsure. I almost want to see the body kit fitted. I mean, let me know yeah. what you guys think as well in the comment section below. Do you think we should do the wheels gloss black or not? I think obviously when this car's all dressed up, the wheels might stand out a little bit much. Silver's um, tasteful, but I think with the body kit, I think black could look pretty good. I, I agree, and, and, and maybe we put some spaces on just to, because obviously the bumps going to be slightly wider, maybe bring the, the wheels out slightly just to give it a bit more of that wider stance that we'd be expecting to pull off this body kit. I definitely think we should do the lower trim, like we've got the white HSC yep. with the, uh, the colour-coded trims, so I'm definitely thinking uh, that we, that we, that we colour-code as much as possible. Yeah, colour-code these, these are like a textured plastic, so we can get them off, we can sand them smooth, prime them, colour-code them to the car, 
just makes the car just like look a little, little bit meaner. Mm. And these are going to be Santorini, right? They're not going to be Santorini. Yeah. Is that going to be challenging for you because of the texture? It is. It, it's a bit more time consuming than just you know a standard bumper because it's smooth. It's you know kind of pretty mm. much ready to. Just, but nothing you can't handle. No, we, we can get them off in a, in a, in a few minutes and um, hit them with a DO. <laughs> Who knew? Completed. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys like to see us do a series build? I think we should. And I think I spy a chassis over there. Okay guys, so it's the next morning and we've made it to DPM Water Body with Zach from Apex and uh, we're gonna start prepping and painting this body kit. So let's show you DPM Water Body and uh, show you the body kits in the booth and get this project started. Okay guys, so we've arrived at DPM Water Body and we've got Ocean with us because we've also got Doug, which is another golden retriever. So they've been having a lot of fun bouncing around and uh, yeah, a little bit too much. So I've only just got the camera now because they've been very eager to say hi to each other. We've got a really cool project here. R34 GTR, really, really cool. And this old Volvo, there's some really, really cool stuff in here. And this is a nice little setup here. But I think the owner of the company for DPM is Dave, and he is in here with Zach with all of our Range Rover body kits. Oh, hang on, kicking off. <laughs> so we've got Dave in here. Dave owns DPM Auto Body. They do all things custom paintwork, and he's very kindly letting us use our booth for this project. Now, these are massive in this booth here. And I'm just so excited to see these things painted up and just, I'm, oh. We're close, aren't we, boys? We've literally got a few more bits to do. We can see the end. We can see the end. The edges Ocean's making a load of noise, bouncing around with Doug, as always. We've got a pull, pull out here. And yeah, I think it's time to just do the parking sensor bits and we start throwing some paint. through what we're doing. So first step, once we've degreased everything, give everything a good blow off, give it a good wipe down, adhesion promoter, step one. It's just your basic, because it's better plastic, needs some adhesion promoter on there. I'm gonna go straight onto wet and wet primer, this is an optical one. Then we've got the color, so we've got the Santorini black, Fuji white, and once that's laid down, then we've obviously put the clear coat on. And these are the colors. Ooh. This is Santorini. Santorini is such a nice colour when the light hits it, that metallics just pop, looking sick. And I can't believe we're doing two cars with this as well, this is just insane. And then the tip, tip X white, is that one? Tip X white. <laughs> <laughs> There's some equipment in here, these are some massive guns, this is, some, this is a really nice setup. And uh, this is how we're going to be getting a proper job, so a huge shout out to DPM. And uh, let's get this process started, so let's start mixing these paints.
right, so we're finally mixing the color up. We're gonna be doing white base first. Is there a particular reason why we're doing white base first? So because we're doing two colors at the same time, the one after the other, we're gonna paint the white bits first at the back of the booth. But if any overspray does get on the other bits, it's not a problem because the black will cover that. So we paint the white bits first, then we'll sheet those bits up once they've dried. Do everything black, and then we'll un unmask everything and then lacquer the whole thing we want here. Perfect, let's mix up this color. So this is my first time in a professional paint booth and we've just mixed up the white paint and Zach's literally just prepping up and everything and we're gonna start throwing some colour so I'm really excited to, to see this come to life because already with the light grey you start to see the muscular lines of the body kit come to shape and it's all just looking uh, it's all looking perfect so I'm really excited to see the, the colour go on and just get a real idea for how these cars are gonna look and uh, yeah let's, let's, let's get straight to it. Today is fitting day. So we're gonna be starting with the white Range Rover and we're gonna be building up the front bumper upstairs on the mezzanine. This is effectively at, our, at present a bit of a clean room for us. Um, downstairs we've got some mad projects on, you can actually have a look over. And we've got full respray going on, we've got some other big projects, we've got axle rebuilds, chassis repairs. It's all go down there. So up here we're gonna be building up the Range Rover bumper, the white Range Rover bumper. And oh, I'm just so excited to see this thing come to life because this is gonna look Absolutely mad, super muscular shape. Um, I've seen a couple of them on the road, but I've never seen one in real life to, to look at it and actually have a real good look at it. Um, it's one of those things you only ever really see on like YouTube or in photos and Instagram and stuff like that. I've never seen them in real life. I've seen one or two rip past me, and uh, it's gonna be fun. Nice. So, uh, Lissy, Zach painted these a, a little while back now. Wow. Jump straight in, we're going to unbox the shiny bits, the gloss black bits and all the lights that come with it. Um, and we're going to build this from bumper up. Now the rear bumper's built up, it's really nice to see how much, it's, it's nice doing the, the white one actually because you can actually see what's, I suppose the, you can see more of the angles on the body kit and the black obviously breaks it up, you've got some nice gloss black bits, details breaking it all up, some decent metal exhaust finishes and then it's like a relocation pipe for the actual exhaust itself, some genuine style honeycomb sort of uh, finisher plates there and then you've obviously got your parking sensor holes and then the, what I assume would be the rear fog light or the reflectors, I think they're fog lights, fog lights, yeah. they're fog lights. Um, Flimsy stuff, but they are on new cars. This is, I'm, not, I'm not used to it. Defender bumper, you can wax them over the head with it. 
Um, but yeah, this is a, it's nice. It's going to be really cool, actually. I'm getting more and more excited to see this, this piece together. Um, that was pretty quick, pretty easy on the rear. Yeah. Um, let's do the black kit. I'm, I'm excited to see that because you won't see any of these details. It'll just be yeah. like it'll be pure blended in quite well. Pure hell. Okay guys, so that is both body kits built up and they look so much better in person than I thought they were going to. I'm really excited, I'm happy with the fit and finish. Everything's actually pretty good quality, which is like I said previously, fiberglass kits, stuff like that. It seems that stuff has come a long way because all of this went pretty smoothly. There's a couple of like injection molding bits where you've got to cut out. Other than that, it went as good as a week of the post. Um, and we didn't test them on the car before, so no, I mean, we might make complaints when we fit, fit, fit <laughs> the kit. Um, but no, it's certainly looking really cool. There's a nice quality kit, it's like some metal exhaust finishes. These are going to look absolutely insane, and yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to get these things fitted. All right, get They're going to look really, really cool. So, guys. I'm going to wrap the video up here. You're going to have to watch the next one for me to go ahead and fit the kits. Um, do tell us what you think in the comments. Why not, Leon? <laughs> so, guys, do let us know what you think in the comment section below. Um, give us a follow on Instagram, which is at Juice Motors. And we'll see you guys for the next video where we can fit these body kits.